Hello everyone and welcome to Upside Down. Today I want to show you a cool trick how you can create a cable texture inside Photoshop. It's a very simple technique. I already have a 1K texture here and uh, I just got this from uh, internet. Uh, it's just a sphere which, uh, of a plastic material that uh, I'll be using. And uh, you can pretty much get uh, any kind of uh, reference like sphere or uh, some other uh, type of material uh, to create this. Uh, I, I would suggest to go, for example, in, on uh, Allegorithmic on Substance uh, page. They have uh, very nice uh, spheres and also very nice materials there that you can uh, take a sample on. So I, I took this one. Uh, I just Google it and took it from there. And uh, let's start. So I have it in a separate layer, just on its own. And that the tool that we are going to be using is called Mixer Brush. So the way that it works, you can uh, sample uh, a element from the scene and after that you can use it to paint. So what we're going to do, uh, like the area that you are going to sample, uh, depends on the radius of your brush. First, we need to make sure that we have the right layer selected. Then I'm going to make the brush bigger so that it catches the whole sphere. We hold Alt until we get the pointer so that we are picking from the scene. And one time click. You can see here on the top that uh, we sampled the whole sphere. Now, uh, what I want to do is uh, to select the behavior of the brush. So I'm using uh, this one, Heavy Mix. Uh, I, I think it works uh, pretty good. Uh, also, this one works uh, very well. And next step is to create a new layer. I will make the size of the brush smaller as I don't want the cables to be so huge. And then we can just go like this. And we have one cable. We can go another one and another one. We can just make a couple of those. We can go the other direction as well to have a couple of them darker. Like this. You can see that uh, we have this detail uh, on the brush. So uh, the way to achieve this it's uh, very easy, you can control it, we can go to the brush settings and here in the, sh the brush uh, tip shape we can uh, change the spacing so we can have it uh, like this or we can have it like perfectly smooth like this I would say that for cables something like that works pretty well another thing that we can do is to have some uh, a little bit more variation. I will hide this layer for a second. I will get my sphere back and duplicate it. I'll drag it down here, go to adjustments, hue and saturation. I'll out and click so that it affects only this layer and we will change it to blue. After that I'll just collapse those so that uh, it's sealed inside the information. I'll do exactly the same thing. I'll come here, I'll grab it, activate again my other layer, and now we can create some blue cables as well. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe for more. Have a nice day.